We're going to begin mapping our shadows for our master bedroom by defining them on the floor plan first. Locate the center of your light source and bring that through all corners of every object on the page. And that'll give us the shape of the cast shadows, the shadows that all our objects are casting onto the floor. So as you can imagine, the lights from above, so all of our top surfaces are going to be in the light. The things on the floor itself are blocking the light, so that will create some shadows. And let's start with the bed. That's our focus in the drawing, so might as well start there. And I go through every corner. I, if I were to draw all the lines, you'll see that I'm hitting every corner, and I'm hitting both, the, both sides of the footboard and both sides of the footboard on the other side. And this will give me just the beginning of the shape of the shadow on the floor. So both sides of the bed are casting shadows onto the floor. The light is right in the center, and you can see evidence of this. If you look around you and see something with a light above, right down the center of it, or almost the center of it, the way that we have it here, you'll see this phenomena, that there'll be shadows on either side. And I'm going to go through my bedside tables. The wardrobe is directly across from the light source, so we don't have a shadow on this side. We don't have a shadow on the front because it's facing the light. That light ray is facing. So, like the light is facing the front of both of the side tables as well. But we do have a shadow over here because this is definitely interrupting the light. Now, in terms of the length of the shadow, the larger they are, the darker your whole space will look. So we don't want anything too large. So we don't have the advantage of the perspective. We don't have both the top point and the bottom point. We just have the bottom point. So we'll just make a guess. We'll say half a foot here for this shadow and half a foot on the other side. Now, what's important to notice is that I know this is a straight line because this is actually the shadow for the top of the bed. And when I bring it down here, it's interrupted by the footboard. And I can take a little estimate as to how much higher the footboard is going to look than the mattress, the top of the mattress. And once I decide that, where that crosses this projection line from the light, I just go across. And the reason I know to go straight across again is because this is a shadow for the top of the footboard. So that's the shape of my shadow so far. So, And these will come across and meet. And if you didn't have a footboard to project, what you could do is um, just ignore that and make it straight. You don't have to worry about that. So our shadow, let's do our side tables as well. So we're going to put, they're the same height as the bed, so half a foot will do that for them as well. And the light is just hitting these a little bit differently because the bed is not in the middle. So now this whole thing will be thrown into shadow, so I might just extend the shadow right to the wall and not worry too much about it. So now I'll just begin to fill in a little bit of the shadow shape here. I'm, I can't get too close or my head will be in the way, but so forgive me if the lines are a little bit my coloring is a little bit off. But this makes sense now. And we've got that feeling of the light being in the center of the bed. And oops, that's the headboard, the base footboard. So we've got that feeling of the light being overhead. Okay. So 
this one has. Now, on the seating at the end of the bed, we can go ahead with our half a foot. It'd probably be slightly less since this is um, only one and a half feet tall, whereas our bed, our mattress, was two feet tall. So, now, what I should have done there was taken one side, bring it over, and then found the second side by where this crosses over. So I've made that a little bit too, too wide. And this is what the shape would look like on the floor in your perspective drawing. So it's probably a good idea then to go directly now to our perspective and do the same thing. So to find the light source in the room where it's going to hit the floor, that's our first job, we have to um, take it from the center where it's placed on the ceiling, use our left vanishing point to bring it across to the wall, and I'm using my left vanishing point, bring it over, then where it hits the ceiling, bring it down onto the floor and then where it hits the floor here right at the line where the wardrobe is you use your left finishing point again to bring it across and if you drop this down straight from the center of the light above you'll get a point on the floor where the rays of the light are going to be where it's going to hit the floor and then you do the exact same thing we did on the floor plan we've got something we can use now we've also got a measure we chose that our the shadow for our bed is going to be about half a foot and over here we can do the same we still got our boxes so we can still do the same so I'm going through all of my corners using this dot. I'll go through my corners. I won't draw the lines in between. That can be a little confusing. Now, you have your title block down here. So you may want to just either draw right over the title block because not on your finished drawing, but just for the time being, you may want to do that. And so I'm gonna go through here. This I think is going to be reaching too far out for your drawing, but we can have it on the box drawing. It won't be a problem. And over here. So we're just doing the exact same thing we did on the floor plan. Now, the other side of the bed, it's going to be half a foot. We already decided that, so we can put that in by looking at that. So here's our, where our light hits the floor. We can put our shadow on the bedside table. Now, something is going to occur though. There's going to be shadow all along here. Let's put that in, half a foot we decided. So anywhere on here, I can just take half a box. And what's gonna happen is that it's going to be stopped. The shadow's going to be interrupted by the bedside table. So when that happens, you, it has to take on the form of the thing that the shadow is on. So it's gotta take the form of the table. Now, will it go on the top? Uh, for that answer, you have to make an X and find the middle. There's my middle of my light source on the ceiling now. And from this corner, this corner of the bedside table, I'm going to make an angle. And you'll see that everywhere around you in your room. You can see that, that angle. Now I have a shape for what, what the shadow would look like as it's cast from the bed onto the bedside table. The other table, we don't really see it. So that's not going to be a problem. Now this point, I got easily enough because I know that I only chose to have half a foot of shadow, half a foot worth of shadow on the other side. So there's a foot, we took half, 
here we took a half so this one I figured it out but this one I don't need to figure it out I can just go ahead and put that in footboard is a little bit taller so I'm going to put that in using my right vanishing point I'm going to whoops cut off the height of that with my right vanishing point and then to finish it I have to use my left vanishing point and for convenience sake I think I'm just going to continue this shadow so I'm using my right vanishing point again I could make it a little lower it is lower so maybe make it a little lower and it'll fit on my page better as well sometimes the decisions come from that method of thinking as well what's going to look good okay so now we have a shadow for this box a shadow for the headboard the footboard pardon and the shadow for the bed itself and the shadow that's cast onto the bedside table we're not going to see it what's happening on the other side so this this should suffice for us now on the bed itself it looks as though we have two sides that are in shadow because I'm having a shadow from this footboard onto this. I know I have that. What we'll do is just decide we want a little bit of shadow on there here. We want shadow from our footboard onto the seating. Okay. 